telephone charities. I just got a phone call before from some bloke uh, or man. Um, I answered the phone. It said charity. And he goes, is that Paul? And I said, who's speaking? And he went off on this rampant speech. You know, I'm collecting for um, the police sheriff's department. You know, we're, we're, we're wanting to buy them all um, bulletproof vests and la, 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 la. And he kept going. I said, look, li and he kept going. I said, are you listening to me or are you going to keep talking? And he kept, blah, 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 kept going on with his speech. I said, well, if you're not going to listen to me, I've got to hang up. And he was going and going and he kept going. Well, how did they get my telephone number? A and I'm on the don't call list also. Well, the thing is that usually they got a computer. And, for instance, this is, I have topics here. But they have your phone number plus one. Your phone number plus two, which is all different houses. Um, your phone number plus, you know, three, four. And that's how they, they ring people up, usually. Um, they've got a speech that usually is, you know, um, 30 seconds long or uh, whatever it may be. And they've got to read the speech out. La, 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 la. Then at the end it has the pun, you know, are you willing to donate to the sheriff's department so they can have, you know, um, bulletproof vests, you know, to save their lives for when they come out to your house and someone pulls a gun on them and shoots, you know, makes you feel a little bit guilty for saying, hey, you know, I don't have that sort of money to give away to the sheriff's department so they can't get killed for when they come out to my house. You know that might sound really mean, um, and it does, and it does make you think. That, you know that um, well, if they if you're not going to support the sheriff's department and their um, you know bulletproof vests so they don't get shot, that you're actually contributing to you know a death of an officer. Um, as an ex security guard, I understand a, a few things on that, but. Unfortunately, I don't understand the part of the guilt that um, these speeches seem to come up with. You know, they really appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks a lot. I know you haven't got the money, but I'll ring you up next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're on to the next person. So, really, that's what happens. Um, you just uh, tell them you haven't got the money at the moment, which you haven't. Or that, you know, some people would say, because I've done telephone marketing before. Um, and you hear a thousand speeches, you know, of all the different excuses that people have that I haven't been paid for a month, for kids are just, you know, and you hear all these great sad stories. Um, but your job is to collect money and, you know, if you can't do it, you move on to the next person. But um, some of these charities, phone charities, when they ring you up, they don't listen to you. They got the speech and da 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 Want to buy another? Want to buy another? You know, like, oh, jeez. And you, you, get, you can't interrupt the speech because that will interrupt their thought pattern afterwards. So, anyway, I just thought I'd give you an insight into telephone charities. Usually there's a fair few people ringing up on the same thing. In most cases, people need to be paid for their time. Your donation, these collectors will be paid for their time. You know, nothing wrong with that either. But um, not all your money will go to the Buying the Vest Foundation, depending on who they are, I guess.